And if I never make it, then at least I live to go try. 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 What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Luis Revelo Jr. back at you with another episode of Road to Pro, episode two. Today is officially week one back in the gym. Today's Saturday morning, like I said. It was our first week back at the boxing gym back doing road work, back doing all kinds of stuff. So you can bet your behind that I am sore right now. I ran six miles yesterday. I'm gonna start doing that from now on, but I did three in the morning, three in the afternoon. So I'm gonna do six miles a day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no running. The reason I'm doing that is because one of my biggest setbacks and one of my biggest weaknesses when I was boxing back in the day was I never did road work. I hated doing road work with a passion, so I never did it. And it showed, it showed in my sparring, I would always get tired. Tired. Obviously, you get tired in sparring, you get your ass beat. So I don't want that to happen <laughs> anymore. And the only reason that was happening was because I would gas out. So I'm not gassing out anymore. I'm gonna go all day long. I'm not gonna get tired. That's my whole mentality now. Is I'm gonna be in such good shape that I will never get tired. Just like I will never miss at the gym. I'm applying that same mindset, those same principles to boxing. Back then I used to skip training all the time. Like when I was sore or if I was extremely tired and I had a sparring session that day, no matter what it was, if I didn't feel like it, I wouldn't go. You know, especially when it came to the road work. Like that's the one thing I avoided the most out of everything. So now that's the one thing that I'm doing, I'm tripling down on. I'm gonna do so much road work that it's disgusting. Like people are gonna see it and be like, dude, you're crazy. Why are you running so many miles? Why are you doing so much work? Because I have to. That's what's required to set yourself apart in this sport. Cardio is king. Next to technique, you know. Skills pay the bills, but trust me, when you're tired, those skills fade real quick. So you have to be in shape in order to succeed. And that's what's gonna separate me from everybody else, man. My attention to detail, my extreme work ethic, my extreme discipline, my ability to do the things that I hate doing, like I love it, you know? And I will never miss. 2023, I told you guys, we're taking over. We're going pro, it's official. I already talked to my coaches. The goal right now is getting the weight down. That's priority number one. And I'm sure the miles that I'm gonna be running every day are gonna help with that. So it's only a matter of time. The only thing separating you from your goals is time. If you're putting in the work, if you're doing what you need to do, it's only a matter of time before you accomplish what you're setting out to accomplish. Yeah, I was watching uh, some Errol Spence, some of his Olympic fights. I noticed he was fighting this one fighter from Kazakhstan, and the Kazakhstan, I think so. But I noticed the only reason is because he had a much more like in and out style, you know, like. And Spence is very kind of like how I fight. Like I like to like sit down and kind of like be in the pocket. Yeah. You think I've been training for weeks? Yeah, 
so you're stealing air from it. Mostly we'll focus on the placement of the shaft. Don't yeah. worry about the power so much. Moving your left foot upstairs. Down here. Pop up to the left foot. After the double door? Yeah, double touch, touch. Hard. Hard. Yeah. One of the techniques. Right there. Yeah. Your weight transfer. Again. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. Well, my strategy going into this is basically just be so relentless, but like smart pressure right. that right. they're spending 90% of their time reacting instead of like trying to throw right. at me. Yeah, you see, you see how Arrow Spence forces guys to throw. He, he, he counters off it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Or even old school with Brother Grant. Yeah. He's a very aggressive guy. Yeah. Real time. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm aiming for your head. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for the right hand. Step back. But still keep your front foot there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Keep your front foot there. Step back. Almost straight now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're still in a, a position to punch. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, your head off that line. Yep. Yeah. 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 But now you know where my hand is at. The main thing you gotta worry about is keeping this occupied. Okay. Because now I can't really touch you with my right hand. Not from that, not from that range. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Like if I did, it would be a rabbit punch. That's illegal. Yeah. So, unless I turn on you, stuff like that. But, same thing. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, ah. Yep, yep. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm so used to like evading and getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's nice to control somebody. Bah, bah, bah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Get you stronger with your legs. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get there first. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. That's what guys like Andre Ward and Scott Earl do. Yeah. 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 It's so subtle too. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. You waste less energy. Yeah. Yeah. What do they back up in that moment? Like I step in and they back up? Oh, like right here? Yeah. Oh, no. Better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep attacking at that point. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do a simple jab. Will make Just them keep stop peppering? Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to keep that pressure. Even if you're not actually landing, touch them. Just touch always? Them. Touch them, yeah. Always think of touching them with the jab. This will bother some, you have to get in touch. If you can't land, you got real good defense. You're right here, trying to control your hands and still bothering you with the jab. Yeah. 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 
short, not packed. This guy thinks I've been training already for like six months. <laughs> uh, I said, you think I've been training already for like six months? This video is brought to you by self-made water. <laughs> Better alkaline water. Get you some. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, Thank you. No, See you next that. Saturday. Hell yeah, I'm good. All right, guys, just got done with our Saturday morning training session. First week is in full effect. I guess you could call it training camp. Technically, we're still in fat camps because we're trying to get off the fat. We're not in training camp yet because I'm not getting ready for a fight or any specific date. I'm just trying to get the weight off. So, like I said, guys, all it is is just work. If you can show up for the road work, if you can show up for your training sessions, if you can show up every day, hit your diet, hit your workouts, it's only a matter of time before you get to where you wanna to get to. The only thing is if you can mentally have the discipline to show up, not quit and not skip. So self-made training facility, Westside Boxing, uh, Coach Ian Ocho Cinco. hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let's get it, baby. I'm taking you on the journey to pro.